Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of R&B Reptiles Presents. Um, on a serious note, we want to take a minute to um, talk about our good friend Forrest Fanning's passing. Um, it's been a hard week for a lot of people. He was a, a huge uh, pillar in the community and all around just a real nice guy. And uh, we're yeah. going to miss him. Um, he uh, had a big influence on us on some of the animals that we keep and uh, some of the directions of animals that we want to keep. Um, he's just very passionate. He has some really awesome animals. Um, we, as you guys know and you might have seen, we've done videos at his place. Uh, we usually go there before Tinley's. And um, yeah, it's pretty tough. We're, we're pretty uh, crushed by it. So, um, But uh, we just want to let you know about it if you didn't know what happened so that we're gonna put links in the description if you have the means to donate to help out the family in uh, this t hard time uh, please do that yep. and uh, the, if you don't like just keep them in your thoughts and prayers yeah and uh, it would be cool if you guys posted stories uh, in the comments about you know a good memory you had of forest that'd be awesome forest loved the animals and so do we so let's get into some animals I wanted to update you guys and do a little spotlight on this female that we picked up uh, last Tinley. This is a OD Cinnamon Blackhead Calico. And she just glows orange. This, it's like amazing. Like all the pattern raises up off of the belly. You got these floating alien heads that are all connected, but they have the calico influence doing the white out. The blackhead and cinnamon, you start getting these dark outlines around it, and then the orange dream is bringing in this peach orange circle, like inner circle on it. It is just an amazing animal. We saw this on uh, RL Exotics table when we were at Tinley, and I had already decided I was done buying stuff. And I saw this thing, I was like, oh, I guess I'm not done buying stuff. So, and of course, Dave Levinson <laughs> talked you into it. He's uh, he was like, oh, I was like. Quite I the just mustache, that man. For to look at. And I was like, "Shut up, tell it to me." The heck. <laughs> so. So, but this is cool, and this is out of his campfire project. So, uh, if you don't know what the campfire is, Ben can put a, a picture up for you right here, and you can see what I'm talking about. And if you take uh, blackhead, calico, and enchi, that's the campfire. And then you start adding stuff onto that and you start getting the bonfire and like all these other things but uh it's a very pretty snake we're very excited to have her in the collection we have a couple ideas that we're kind of keeping to ourselves about what we want to do and what direction we want to go in with this project but she is amazing how's the lighting is it picking it up well it's pretty good cool i so think yeah. you should wear her wear her weigh her not wear her weigh wear her, her weigh her cool. weigh her as a belt let's weigh her i'm saying she's 500 grams 450 500 450 what 572 572 put her in the breeder rotation <laughs> This girl's gonna give us three quarters of an egg. <laughs> what uh, what weight do you think we should let her get up to before you try to pair her? Probably fourteen hundred grams. Thirteen, fourteen hundred grams, right? Yeah. Before we start introducing. That's what we like to do usually. Awesome. Awesome. So don't forget, guys. We're gonna be at Tinley later this week. Um, our Friday video, we're going to show you guys a little something. We are visiting a friend of ours, and uh, we might be getting, you know, a little prepared for Tinley so, in that video. So make sure you guys watch that. Look for it on Friday. And uh, we'll see you at Tinley. Don't forget about our reptile dinners on uh, April 11th. We're going to be doing reptile, our R&B Reptiles Dinner South in Deford, New Jersey. And on April 25th, we'll be doing the Reptile Dinner north in uh, edison new jersey so we uh will give you a little bit of the description below and also you can hit us up and check us out here's an update on this little girl we produced this season a beautiful firefly pied how's the lighting working on that guy 
Girl, awesome. Girl. You call them guys and girls all the time. <laughs> yeah, we know about you, the real Chris whatever. <clears throat> what? <laughs> it's that guy that keeps calling us gay. <laughs> oh. Go on, hey, talk about the update. Anyway, we got really lucky hitting this, uh, hitting the visual period was really lucky for us with a hat to hat. And uh, we had it proven out the one hat. So just hitting a visual pod was amazing, but then hitting all the jeans twice in that clutch was ridiculous. So it was a very pretty animal we're going to hold on to. And uh, it's getting big. Look at this. Yeah. What's, what's her weight? Do you have the 150 grams? What are you guessing? I don't know. I don't. I'm not holding her. 202 grams. 202 grams. Dang. I'm like, I gotta tear myself. Tear yourself. That's. I don't. Know. You guys are out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and here's a little OD Firefly. Uh, this is actually on our morph market right now. If you uh, don't know, we're doing the 25% off sale still. So everything has been reduced on the on the store for 25% uh, off. Uh, most times you're just getting free shipping, which is awesome because shipping is expensive, essentially. I'll never do that. Doesn't sound right. Hey guys, just go to our Morph Market 25% <laughs> off sale. Is a lot? Is a little? I don't know. <laughs> Got to my eyes. I can't, I'm not 100% sure what we have here in stock because I can't see anything. Our prices, I hope, aren't too low. Check it. So we're good? We're good. Got some mail. Uh, gonna open up these guys here. Ryan has that big knife. Size doesn't matter, Ryan. These little knives work just fine. Probably. That seat is so nice. I don't know what that means. <laughs> This, uh, you didn't need that rhetoric. <laughs> so, I'm gonna start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just felt like there was something in there that, uh, didn't wanna mess up. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, there's a huge note in there. Look at that. Yeah. I really should start doing more notes in mine. I'm slacking. <clears throat> so, Salvatore Gomez. Gomez pythons. Let me hold up both of these. Is they both stickers or one a business card? One's a business card, one's a sticker. Nice. Square business card. Yep. That's and cool. There's a it's a banana ball python on the back. Oh, Coral like glow. It. New York. Pretty cool. Yeah. He's, uh, local. Yeah, he's not too far. Hopefully he'll go to our uh, dinner north, our reptile dinner north on April twenty fifth. Ryan and Ben, thank you guys for all the great content. Following you guys has really lit the fire in me that I once had over the last year, over the last few years of keeping and breeding different species of reptiles. Happy to see you guys recently got into the candy gene since that is what we predominantly work with. Hope we make it to your next dinner. Nice. Hope you like our stickers, of course. And that's from Sal Gomez. Gomez Pythons. Thanks, Thanks Sal. Sal. Thanks, Sal. Uh, we really appreciate that, and it's a really big deal for us to uh, get stuff from you guys. But also, you know, the feedback saying that we're doing a decent job, or at least it's fun to watch, that really means a lot to us. So, uh... And before that one, you may even see us at Hamburg. Hamburg's the same day. Hamburg's the same day on April 25th, and Ryan's trying to get me to do the uh, old uh, trifecta there where we run over and run up. and It's a lot of driving, It'll but we'll great. see. It'll be great. It'll be um, so this is from Brian from Golden Re Constrictors. Golden Constrictors. Golden Pretty Colorado. Golden Constrictors. I think they're actually from Colorado. I will check in a second here. It is from Colorado, Golden, Colorado. Right on. Good call, Ryan. And my little knife is tougher to do this with. So maybe I should use a bigger one. You're doing great, Ben. I'm gonna speed all this up. 
Okay. Hey. That one didn't have a uh, letter in it, so I knew it's fine. Feel it. Well, I might have a letter, but it's folded. And this is from our friend Jeremy. From Jeremy's Balds, or from Ball, not Jeremy's Balds. Jeremy's Balds. Uh, this is from Jeremy Bald, from Bald's Exotic Constrictor, or Bald's, oh, man, I'm really messing this one up. Sorry, Jeremy. I'm having a hard time. Bald's Exotic Reptiles. So he gave us a business card and some pretty big stickers. I think these are 4 by 4s Spent some money on those. Yeah. 4 by 4s Woo. It's a nice little business card, a couple of them. He has uh, two different business cards. As always, links and information will be in the description. Yeah, we'll, we'll link that up. Thanks, Jeremy. It was great seeing you at, uh, at Tampa, uh, Repticon. Thank you for inviting me out to it, too. So I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. Keep sending us your stickers, and we'll try to send you some, too. Thanks. Let's see if this girl is locked up. Yes, she is. Look at that. So that's a Hyperion to Miguel's snake. Hyperion is Super Pastel Fire Calico to a Pastel Yellow Belly Orange Dream Enchi Leopard Genex Hepide. Dang, good job. You know how long it took me to memorize that? <laughs> They're beautiful. Let's let's leave them alone. So that'll be interesting. This guy. Oh look, they're breeding. So that is the fire spot nose. 100% head clown and lavender albino, 50% head pied to a female pastel leopard, 100% head clown. Beautiful, I'm super excited about this pair. Hopefully we get some babies out of her and they'll be very interesting. That's our uh, fire Batman or firefly Batman clutch. Yeah. That'll also be possible hit Holy Grail. Ben's like, oh great, are we gonna breed anything that we can sell? We got Enchi Banana Lori to Pastel Lori. GHI Royal Fire to GHI. Who's almost there? They've locked before. We got this guy trying to breed the wrong side. <laughs> it's an Enchi Inferno to fire. Hoping to get some Lemon Blast Scaleless. That was a pretty scaleless head. Let's see if these guys are locked. Uh, nope. That's a Paso Lori Hidden G Woma to Enchi Butter. Enchi Lori Soul Suckers. And they're locked. GHI Fire to Killer Leopard Clown. Yeah, man, we got a lot of locks today. So, this is the first time for this little guy. This is a Pied 60 or 50% Het Lavender Albino to our big Het Lavender Girl. So, we're really hoping to prove out that he is het lab with this clutch and then everything will be 100% het pied and 66% het lavender if it's not a visual got it it's awesome 
tag. I'm so excited. I've never seen him lock before. He's so tiny compared to her. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you guys so much for joining us with this video. I hope you guys liked you know, the animals that we have around and we really appreciate you guys uh, commenting below about Forrest Fanning. And uh, he was a good friend of ours and we really appreciate um, you know, all the support that people are giving. I know people reached out to me and Ryan and uh, we're just also trying to reach out to other people. So uh, feel free to reach out to us and we can talk and discuss it. But make sure you like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit that notification bell so you know when we are posting new stuff. But uh, I really appreciate you guys checking us out. And again, <clears throat> in the description below, check out Forrest Fanning's Memorial Fund. All right, thank you guys. See you next time. This is a... Why am I having such a hard time with this? <clears throat> this is a Orange Dream Calico Blackhead Cinnamon. Hmm. And she... All right, start again. <laughs> Why am I starting again? Because it was real broken up. It was... I just want to give you... An... No. You can use that part already. Sure. I'll have to start that part. Fine. This is... Yeah, check that out. Check me out. What? <laughs> don't check me out. If you see me in person, don't check me out. It, weird, it weirds me out. Uh, hugs, unexpected hugs, I think are funny. So feel free to do that. But checking me out is, is real awkward. I don't know. Like, my eyes are up here. Okay. Okay. And here's a quick update on this little... Girl. Dog. This little girl. Do it again.